this morning, a lot of adults struggle when it comes to issues surrounding money. Experts say learning good financial habits early in life is key. One mid-state school is taking on that challenge in a unique way. We're, we're going to need two bedrooms. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Two bedrooms, two bathrooms. Skylar Coles is excited. Criminal justice, baby, yeah. She has a new job, money, and is ready to sign the lease on her new apartment. Actually, Skylar is still in high school. None of this is real, but it is getting her ready for the real world. What you see happening here is called the Reality Fair. Our students in financial management and other business classes have the opportunity to go to each station and get a little dose of reality. It's adulting 101. Susquehanna Township High School teamed up with PSECU for this program. Of all the financial literacy uh, courses, classes you can uh, have out there, this is my absolute favorite. The students are assigned a career and salary. The rest is up to them. Everything from housing and loans to cars. I fooled you, but not fooled you enough to get. Yeah, we're not sharing. Yeah, we're not sharing no I'm sorry about that. In my roomie and all, but I got things to do, places to be. Food, entertainment, even gym memberships. We don't need that. And plus, we can use outside as a gym. Oh, yeah. You know, the nature, the outdoors. Their budget is completely up to them. How are they going to manage their money if they don't even know what a paycheck is going to look like? So um, it's just a part of those life skills. It's not being taught like it needs to be in schools. So we're stepping up and, and we're doing it. How difficult is this to figure out what you want to use and what you don't want to use and what you have money for and what you don't have money for? I just, it's like basically strategizing and thinking what's most important. So going from most important to least important, like I would say my insurance is the most important. That's what we went uh, to first. And then the least important would be like pets, like just stuff like that I don't need. Elena Charles has been teaching at Susquehanna Township for 35 years. She knows how important it is for students to learn this now. As a teacher of finance, we want our students to understand everything that they are going to have to do in life so that they are set and they understand what they have to do when they are adults. I don't want them to have any surprises. The program has even caught the attention of PA Auditor General Tim DeFore. I'd like to see something like this go statewide, be perfectly honest. I mean, I'd like to see, see every school within the, the Commonwealth doing something like this. DeFore travels the state touting the importance of financial literacy. A new law will require high schoolers pass a course in it to graduate. DeForest says that's a good first step. By making smart decisions here means they're going to make smart decisions when they go out into the real world. I'm sure as an auditor that makes you happy. It makes me, makes me very happy because I, I see the results of people not making smart and sound financial decisions. Mrs. Charles agrees and that's why she goes above and beyond to teach it. I want to make sure that they have a, an emergency fund. I want them to understand how much a car note costs. I want them to understand interest. I want them to understand what predatory lending is. And so I speak to them about these things in order to give them the information that, that they need so that they are not taken advantage of. I want them to have a strong, solid foundation in finance. A lesson students like Skyler appreciate. It is a first step to stepping out in the real world. It gets you prepared and ready. Do you think you're ready? Not as much as I thought I was going to be, but I think I'm getting there. PA's financial literacy requirement goes into effect in the 2026-27 school year, but the experts say this isn't something that just needs to be taught to high schoolers. The Auditor General says you're never too old or too young to learn about financial literacy. I mean, that could be something just mm -hmm. as simple as teaching young kids having a piggy bank. I mean, just mm -hmm. simple things like that, getting them in the habit of knowing about money and knowing about saving. But this goes far beyond that too. I mean, they were talking about warning them about predatory lending practices. I mean, yes. to go that in depth at that age, I feel like is just so smart. Exactly. Even like she said, realizing that there's a lot that she needs to learn even teaching that lesson that you don't know it all yet and there are things that you need to learn. But having the basics down before you graduate high school is so important oh because there are many adults who don't have this stuff down yes. and then they face it when they're adults and they hit this wall and you don't want that to happen, so learn it early. And it gives them just such awareness moving forward. Absolutely, so right. a great program and hopefully that is something that we'll be able to expand and go across the state. Yeah.